Hi, it's Ronick from Ask Audio. We're here at Superboots 2017 at the Pittsburgh Modular booth, and I'm here with Richard. Hey, man, how you doing? Good, good. Cool. We're always interested to see what Pittsburgh Modular have uh, for their for their modular synth Eurorack range, and of course, we're into the Lifeformers range now. And uh, you've got the double helix oscillator here, and you've got a whole bunch of uh, Lifeforms uh, modules which are now shipping, right? Absolutely, a whole new line of Lifeforms modular products this year for us. We wanted to we wanted to take our modular line and sort of rev it to the next level. We you know we have always have crazy ideas and we're always working on something. So we thought this would be a great opportunity with the success of the Lifeforms SV1 black box synth last year. We thought let's take that and let's let's focus on that that format and that style of things so that's that's really where the essence of the life forms came from so we started what we're really showing today is the double helix oscillator because it just started shipping this week and it's really it's almost a synth voice on its own you have two oscillators you have a great sounding wave folder in here and then you have a low pass gate it's it's our dynamic impulse filter so what it is is it's a, the core of it's a low pass gate sort of based Based on the Buchla, the original Buchla circuitry, but what we did was that circuitry used a Vactrol, and a Vactrol is this great little magical component that gives you this very organic plucking sound out of it. But the problem with the problem with Vactrols, excuse my voice, is that everyone's a little bit different. So some Vactrols have a very short decay, and some have a very long decay, and you're sort of stuck with the one you get. So if you buy a module and it has a short decay, and you want it to ring out a little but it's never going to do it. So what we did was say, well, that's not going to be good enough. So we re-engineered around the Vactrol. So we have a completely analog design that allows us to have very short decays when you want very short decays, but very long decays when you want very long decays. So it gives you almost this added envelope with super organic sound to it. I could give you some examples of how it sounds. Was it quite a hard process to kind of get that that back throw is kind of like uh, variable, if you like. Oh, it took a, it took a long time to do because the back throw is such it's such a revered sort of magical thing in the eyes of electronic musicians that if we thought if we got it wrong people were going to vilify us for it it's, it's terrible it's awful so we did spend a lot of time making sure that it was not just as good but better it had to sound better than an actual Vactrol low pass gate did so we compared it with you know our bootless system our own Pittsburgh modular low pass gate that uses the Vactrol and other bits and bobs we have laying around the shop just to make sure that when people heard this, they'd be, wow, that's really great. And I, th I think it shows. I think we nailed it. Uh, so I'm just going to patch in a little patch here. And what we're listening to is the oscillator, sine wave oscillator. It's going through our wave folder here, and then it's going through our low-pass gate that we're plucking with this little square wave. So right now, this is a sh the short pluck. We can open it up, though, and you can hear how it sounds like you're hitting a wood block. It sounds so organic and so natural, and that's sort of the magic of the low-pass gate circuit and the magic of that the Vactrol. But of course, because we're not using a Vactrol, we can dial in exactly how much of that we want. And certainly you could just open it up and use it as a standard oscillator, but almost like a synth voice on its own, this gives you that great envelope, that organic envelope sound. And then we have our wave folder here. The wave folder is based on the Buchla 259 wave folder, so it's a very classic sound. We cleaned it up and sort of tightened it up for our purposes. Another great aspect of this oscillator, and something that really makes it stand out and useful, is the bottom section. The bottom section is two modulation buses, with each bus being controlled by a VCA. So you have the ability to modulate the modulation. So right now we're just listening to oscillator one. It's not really 
being modulated by anything, but we'll turn on some frequency modulation using bus A, just by flipping this up to A. And now we're using second oscillator here as a modulation source. Give us a frequency modulated sound, and we can switch it to B very quickly, and now we're using the second modulation source as the bus. Each, each voltage controllable CV input has a section on the bus that you can tie it to. So all of your modulation goes through the bottom section and you have direct ins as well that will mix with the bus so you can get incredibly complex modulation out of this. Do some really interesting things very quickly. This was, with the Lifeforms line, we really felt like we wanted to showcase the best that we could do. And it's a, the double helix oscillator is, is really an example of that. We poured every bit of engineering know-how that we have into this. We spent a lot of time trying to understand how people were going to use it, what people were going to use it for, and we wanted to give them something different. We didn't, um, there's a lot of sort of complex oscillators out there that are cl very specific clones of like a Bukla 259, and that's great, but we thought we could offer something a little bit different to people. So that's that was sort of the seed of how the double helix came to be. It sounds awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, so you've got the rest of the life box. So these are all shipping now, aren't they? Everything is shipping as of this week. Yeah, we just the life the double helix was the last to come through. So that's now shipping this week, and everything's ready to go. Our this this synthesizer here. This is our foundation Evo, our flagship synth. This is going to start shipping in about a week or two. Now that we have all the components in, um, but individual modules should be at shops now. Cool. Excellent. Thank you so much. It was really, really good to. to oh, uh, can I find out uh, prices? Do you know prices before we go? Off the top of my head, I can't remember okay. the prices. Okay. Okay. All the prices are on our website yeah. and you know in our dealers as well. Yeah. So check the Pittsburgh Modular website, and uh, we'll you can check Ask Audio for more reviews on Pittsburgh Modular as well. They'll be coming, and there's some already out. Thanks very much. Thank you.